Hey everybody, Ms. Dietrich here. We're taking a look at question seven, which really requires a little bit of grit. It's asking, which has the greatest quotient? So that means you have to find the quotient of each question. I would suggest writing down each thing with the reciprocal of the divisor and then pressing on with finding the product. So if we take advantage of all the pre-reducing opportunities here, you're gonna get the four over seven. Seven times one here gives you the seven over four. Three times three is nine. Eight times two is 16. 2 times 8 is 16, 3 times 3 is 9. All right, so if we take a look at all these blue values, the first thing we want to look for, we want to eliminate the ones that are less than 1. How do we know it's less than 1? If the numerator is less than the denominator, then we're talking about a value less than 1. So that's this, and it's this. So now we're looking at these two. Now to figure out which is greater, I'm going to suggest that we take the numerator and divide it by the denominator and get a decimal equivalent of it. So if we do seven divided by four and put a decimal and then a zero, four would go into that once, get the three left over. Now ask yourself, four goes into 30 how many times and put the number here and subtract. Now to, to decide whether or not you need to add another zero really depend on whether or not the digit that you put above this zero and this zero are the same. So if we do 16 divided by nine, wouldn't nine go into that once, get the five left over, bring down the zero, so how many times does nine go into 50? Because if it's a different number than we have here, then we'll have enough information to know which is the greater value. So whatever tenths place digit is a higher number, we're gonna conclude that that fraction is higher and pick that. All right, so hopefully this is enough here for you to figure out how to finish this off. All right, good luck.